बैलेंस द केमिकल इक्वेशन बाय आयन इलेक्ट्रॉन मेथड और हाफ रिएक्शन मेथड इन ए बेसिक मीडियम परमैंगनेट आयन प्लस आयोडीन आयन इज गिव्स अस मैंगनीज डाइऑक्साइड प्लस आयोडेट आयन नाउ वी कैन राइट द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट बाय द रूल्स ऑफ असाइनिंग ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर्स हैज पर असाइनिंग ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर्स द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज माइनस 2 इन कंपाउंड्स सो वी कैन राइट द ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज माइनस 2 therefore the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 in mnO4 minus and in the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 in mnO2 the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 in io3 minus by the rules of assigning oxidation numbers the oxidation number of polyatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion here mnO4 minus is polyatomic ion so we can write the oxidation number of mn is plus 7 why because plus 7 minus 2 into 4 equals to minus 1 so here mno4 minus oxidation number is minus 1 by the rules of assigning oxidation numbers the oxidation number of monoatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion here i minus is monoatomic ion therefore we can write the oxidation number of i minus is minus 1 as per rule of assigning oxidation numbers, the sum of the oxidation number of atoms in a neutral compound is 0. Therefore, in MnO2, we can write the oxidation number of Mn is plus 4. Why? Because plus 4 minus 2 into 2, that equals to 0. By the rules of assigning oxidation numbers, the oxidation number of polyatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion. So, now we can write the oxidation number of iodine is plus 5. Why? Because plus 5 minus 2 into 3 that equals to minus 1 in ion electron method one reaction is divided into two reactions and then they are balanced and then they are added together so in this equation iodine has charge of minus 1 and it changing into plus 5 so iodine is being oxidized Therefore, the oxidation half reaction is I minus is gives us IO3 minus. In this equation, manganese has charge of plus 7 and it changing into plus 4. So, manganese is being reduced. So, reduction. Therefore, the reduction half reaction is MnO4 minus is gives us MnO2. Now we can balance the number of atoms in the two half reactions. In the oxidation half reaction, to balance the oxygen atoms, we can produce water molecules. So, now we can produce water molecules. I minus plus 3H2O is gives us IO3 minus because here three oxygen atoms present. So now we can add three water molecules. Then I is equal to 1, H is equal to 3 into 2 that is equals to 6, O is equal to 3. In reactants side and in products side, I is equal to 1, O is equal to 3. Now the oxygen atoms are balanced. Now we can balance the hydrogen atoms. To do this, you can produce H plus ions. So now we can produce H plus ions. Here 6 hydrogen atoms present. So now we can produce 6 H plus ions. Now the H plus ions. Now the hydrogen atoms is 6. Therefore, the number of atoms are balanced in the oxidation half reaction. Now we can balance the number of atoms in the reduction half reaction. See here, in the reduction half reaction, to balance the oxygen atoms, we can produce water molecules. So here, we can produce water molecules. In the reactants side, 4 oxygen atoms. And in the products side, 2 oxygen atoms. So now we can produce 2 water molecules. So now, see here, in the reactants side, manganese atom, manganese atom is 1, oxygen atoms is 4. And in the products side, manganese atoms is 1, 
oxygen atoms is 2 plus 2 that equals to 4 hydrogen atoms is 2 into 2 that equals to 4 now the oxygen atoms are balanced now we can balance the hydrogen atoms to do this we can produce H plus ions so now we can produce H plus ions MnO4 minus plus here 4 hydrogen atoms present so now we can produce 4 H plus ions so now see here in the reactant side manganese atoms is 1 oxygen atoms is 4 hydrogen atoms is 4 And in the product side, manganese atoms is 1, oxygen atoms is 2 plus 2, that, that equals to 4, hydrogen atoms is 2 into 2, that equals to 4. Now the number of atoms are balanced in the reduction half reaction. In a redox reaction, the addition of charges should be equal on both sides. So try it in the oxidation half reaction. So see here in the oxidation half reaction the addition of charges are here minus 1 plus 3 into 0 that equals to minus 1. Here minus 1 plus 6 into plus 1 that equals to plus 5. So both sides are not equal. To make them equal you should add electrons as you counter protons. So if you think of adding 6 protons to left side to make it equal to plus 5 it is wrong. But you can add 6 electrons to right side to make it equal to minus 1. So now we can add 6 electrons to right side. Now, now here the addition of charges are plus 6 into minus 1 that equals to minus 1. Now the addition of charges are equal to in the oxidation half reaction. Now we can equal the addition of charges in the reduction half reaction. So see here in the reduction half reaction the, the addition of charges are minus 1 plus 4 into plus 1 that equals to plus 3. Here 0 plus 2 into 0 that equals to 0. So both sides are not equal. To make them equal you should add electrons as you can't add protons. So if you think of adding 3 protons to right side to make it equal to plus 3 it is wrong. But you can add 3 electrons to left side to make it equal to 0. So now we can add 3 electrons to left side to make it equal to 0. Now MnO4 minus plus 4H plus plus 3 electrons is gives us MnO2 plus 2H2O. Now see here, here minus 1 plus 4 into plus 1 plus 3 into minus 1 that equals to minus 4 plus 4 that is equals that is equal to 0. Here 0 plus 2 into 0 that equals to 0. Therefore, now the addition of charges are equal in the reduction half reaction. Make a electron gain equivalent to the electron lost. The electrons gained in the oxidation half reaction must be equal to the electrons lost in the reduction half reaction. In the oxidation half reaction, there are 6 electrons present. But in the reduction half reaction, there are 3 electrons present. Now we can equal the number of electrons in the two half reactions. To do this, you can multiply the reduction half reaction by a coefficient of 2. So now the reduction half reaction is 2MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 6 electrons is gives us 2MnO2 plus 4H2O. See here now the number of electrons are balanced in the two half reactions. Now we can add the both reactions. So 
Now we can add the both reactions. The reduction half reaction is 2MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 6 electrons is gives us 2MnO2 plus 4H2O. Now we can cancel the same terms. So here 6 electrons, 6 electrons cancelled. Here 6 H plus ions and here 6 H plus ions cancelled and 2 H plus ions remains. Here 3 H2O molecules and here 3 H2O molecules cancelled and 1 H2O molecule remains. The equation is 2MnO4 plus I minus plus 2H plus plus 2H plus is gives us 2MnO2 plus IO3 minus plus H2O. For a reaction in a basic medium, add one OH minus N for every H plus N present in the equation. So here 2 H plus N is present. To. Now we can add 2 OH minus N for 2 H plus N. So 2 MnO4 minus plus I minus plus 2 H plus plus 2 OH minus ions is gives us. 2MnO2 plus IO3 minus plus H2O plus 2OH minus ions. The OH minus ions must be added to both sides to keep charge and atoms balanced. The H plus ions and OH minus ions that are present on the same side to form water. So 2MnO4 minus plus I minus plus 2H2O this gives us 2MnO2 plus IO3 minus plus H2O plus 2OH minus. Now we can cancel the same terms. Here one H2O molecule, here one H2O molecule cancelled and one H2O molecule remains. So 2MnO4 minus plus I minus plus H2O this gives us 2MnO2 plus IO3 minus plus 2OH minus. This is balanced chemical equation. in a basic medium.